Please join me in praying for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. And trans antiphon, the gates of heaven were opened for blessed Stephen, who was found on the first among the number of the martyrs, and therefore is crowned triumphant in heaven. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the, memori- the feast day of Saint Stephen, the first martyr, and by, her, by his intercession during this Holy Eucharist, I pray for, for the souls of Jan and Teresa Ryan. On the beginning, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people what good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone and the Holy One, you alone and the Lord, you alone and the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grand Lord, we pray that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies, for we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freed men, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. 
but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. Your name, for your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father is child. Children will rise up against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but how whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, it is very fitting that the first feast celebrated after Christmas should be that of the first person recorded as giving his life in the service of the Lord and Master Jesus Christ, 
and for the vision of life that the gospel represents. Stephen was one of those chosen earlier to attend to the material needs of the Hellenists among the early apostolic communities. Take a look. The similarities between the trial and death of Stephen and that of Jesus are striking and are clearly deliberate. Stephen is the perfect fulfillment of the challenge that Jesus put to his disciples in the gospel. He is the perfect disciple. Some of us may find it strange to be talking about such painful things during the Christmas season. If we think like that, then it may indicate that we don't fully understand the nature and the purpose of Jesus' birth. We tend to isolate the whole Christmas scene with a romanticism and even and a great deal of uh, sentimentality, but uh, there was nothing sentimental about the child being born in those rough surroundings far from home, already ignored by the religious leadership on the day and uh, whose only visitors were a group of poor and marginalized men and some mysterious visitors from out of the page and darkness. Ahead of this child was a life of total service ending in the sacrifice of his life in shame and humiliation as the necessary step to our total liberation and sharing in his life. Christmas is the beginning of all this, and Stephen is it is eloquent symbol. Amen. Amen. Our Father is one of grace and mercy. Let us bring to him the prayers of this community and the world. For the Holy Father and for the Church, through the intercession of St. Stephen, may we be firm witnesses to the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, May the Lord help them lead with justice, mercy, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may God grant them the power of redemptive suffering and the fullness of his healing power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, for all those we love, may Christ help us live as his courageous disciples, speaking the truth and loving as he loves, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God's mercy be upon them this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to this pandemic and for the all infected by COVID-19, that God will ease their suffering and return them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the suffering souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special prayers or petitions we hold in our prayer book, and any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers today through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for true goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of Saint Stephen the Martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shined upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. <coughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worth to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Mark, Saint Stephen, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and in us not to the temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the land. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion antiphon, as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in hope and peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hey, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse, spouse of the Virgin, Virgin, Virgin Mary, to you, God, entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed, Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defends us from every evil. Amen. An novena prayer to Our Lady at Chester. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Our Lady and our Mother, 
trusting in your maternal goodness and powerful intercession with your son, we place before you our humble prayers and petitions. To you we commend all our needs, the needs of our families and of our parish. For our negligence in the faith and for the religious indifference through which we strayed so often from God, un unmindful of his presence and love, we yes. ask you, Mother, intercede for us, for our conduct, which has not always been in accord with our holy faith, nor with the dignity of a child of God, for sins against life, for drunkenness, selfishness, carelessness, envy, social discord, and lack of morals. We ask you, Mother, intercede for us, for being so preoccupied with ourselves that we did not see the needs of our brothers and sisters, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, and the lonely. We ask you, Mother, intercede for us. An act of consecration. Mother of God, Immaculate Mary, to you we consecrate our body and soul, all our prayers, works, joys, sufferings, all that we are and possess. With eager heart, we dedicate ourselves to you in slavery of love. We give you complete freedom in making use of us for the salvation of all and the assistance of the Holy Church, of which you are the mother. From now on, we wish to do everything with you, through you, and for you. We know that by our own strength, we shall accomplish nothing. You, however, can do everything that is the will of your Son and you are always victorious. Grant then help of Christians that our families, parish and country may truly be the kingdom of your son and yours, amen. It is to you, O Holy Mother of God, that we go for refuge and protection. Look kindly on us as we cry to you in our need. Glorious and blessed Virgin, be with us always and rescue us from every kind of danger, amen. amen. A holy queen and throne above. O Maria, a mother of mercy and of love. O Maria, triumphantly cherubim. Sing with us, he said of him, Heaven had risen the crown, Salve, 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 Regina. Thank you so much, and the blessed St. Stephen Day for everyone.